Well, growth in China has been the theme for many years now, a seemingly stable fact dominating headlines. However, could a drop in corn imports signal the end of their economic engine? Joining us now for this week's Bottom Line is Neil Malasa. And Neil, does it look like that big importing giant could be uh, coming to an end? Possibly, Avery, but many would-be profits have called for the end of their so-called economic engine and have been wrong before. The story you referenced is the chair of China's importing agency saying last week they would only be importing a very small amount of corn in 2011, less than a million and a half metric tons, due to a better-than-expected crop over there. The next day, however, Argentina's ag minister reported his country was ready to seal the deal on exporting 5 million metric tons to China alone. While these stories have yet to be confirmed, it doesn't seem likely China will need any less raw material in the foreseeable future if their country is to sustain that economic growth. In August this year alone, for example, they imported 22 percent more copper than the same time last year. Now the question is, where is all this material going and what's it being used for? Time magazine did a photo essay recently of the city of Ordos built to house as many people as are in San Diego, yet it's practically deserted. For years now, we've heard stories of commercial real estate in Shanghai and Beijing have occupancy rates of 25 percent or less in some places, and more recently, prices for manufacturing goods tripling, causing more of their jobs to go to places like India and Indonesia. The bottom line here here is that it's very difficult to predict the end of an economic boom, but it is easy to see that things are starting to stack up against their government's centrally planned economy. One thing we do know is they will still need ag products, Avery, and their predictions of importing less may be the bubble that bursts first. Uh, hopefully it doesn't burst too soon. Thank you very much, Neil Malasson. And remember, you can listen to Neil's reports on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Radio Network by clicking over to our website, twilatv.org. There you'll also find a list of stations where you can listen. Just look for the link called LFB Radio Network on the left side of the homepage.